Holy cow. Uh, you made it. I mean, you're here now. Commencement's coming. I, I just for me, can, can anyone, did anyone ever have any doubts that they would make it all the way? Want to you? Yes, yes, yes. Couple hands. That's good. For me, I think, uh, I think it was when my advisor said I was having some sort of academic trouble, and I, I told him that was just my grades. Um, he relayed that to my mother. And I think your, your mother is upset, depending on how many miles she has to travel to come to the school to deal with your problem. At the time, uh, my parents were living in Pakistan. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you uh, know exactly where Pakistan is, and the rest of you know it's not close. <laughs> you can't just leave Pakistan, go up on the Mass Pike. That's what my mom said to me when she arrived. Um, I heard, uh, she talked to my advisor when I was there. We were in Peabody. I know that Peabody has shifted. I know there was some problem with the foundation that might have been uh, the start of that difficulty. And uh, my advisor, Mr. Morris, he grabbed my arm and he said, this is not happening again. Uh, and he didn't let it happen. I graduated in 1985, and my experience, therefore, was nothing like yours. And indeed, you're going to go out into the world, and the only thing that I can guarantee you is no one is going to understand what you experienced here at Brooks. The weird thing is, when you mention you went to a school like Brooks, they're all going to tell you they know nothing about it. And then the next sentence, they're going to say everything you've done, every choice you've made, was because of Brooks. I know nothing about Brooks, they'll say. But then you went to law school. Oh, yeah, that was because of Brooks. And then you quit being a lawyer and became an actor. Oh, yeah, that was because of Brooks. And you just sort of, sort of have to step back and realize your experience here, it's your own. It was the strangest thing that I had when I, when I left and started chatting to people about where I had been and what my experience was like here. And people just had no idea. So if I don't know your experience, and you're headed out into a world where no one else will, what's the one thing that I can guarantee you? When I left Brooks, I didn't know what my connection to the school was. I didn't think I'd be coming back. And indeed, there are three circumstances which sort of showed what I think you're going to experience once you leave. I was sitting around. I, I actually just finished producing a music video. And it was by Matt King. And he did a great song. In fact, we've actually almost got it into the can. Matt King was a young kid here. He was a musician. I was a musician. He liked African-style music. I lived in Africa for a period of time in Lagos. And I also liked the same type of music. We both played music while at Brooks. Never spoke to each other. Not once. That wasn't atypical for my experience at Brooks and for the time. I never spoke to him again until he called me some 35 years later. And out of the blue, he's like, dude, I've seen your films. I want to see your vision to one of my songs. Now, I should have been like, what? But somehow, it's still your school, even for someone like me who had been so far away for so long. I was running up on Runyon Canyon in Los Angeles. And I passed this young girl. I think she was from the Philippines. She had a Brooks shirt on. And we just pointed at each other. 
I didn't know who she was. But there was this, this smile, and she says, what are the chances? We kept going, because in Los Angeles, we're always running for time, so we didn't want to blow our times. And I said, that's one more thing to this school that I said I wasn't coming back to. But the thing that stands out the most was my good friend, Jeep, came up to visit me when I was still a lawyer. And I was in, uh, I was at sort of the top of my game. I had an office that if you lean back, you could actually see Park Avenue, which is, that's what we called an accomplishment in the law. And I was expecting him to be impressed. I mean, my God, I had done all this stuff. And he walked in, knowing me from school, and he was like, dude, what are you, what are you doing? This is not you. And it was three years later that I retired and went on to being an actor. What I've realized no matter what your experience at the school would be. It's not just that you belong. It's not just that you deserve it. It's that you are the school. All the teachers that I was with are gone, but the school remains. And you are that integral part of the school whether you come back or not, but I think you will. I think in this class is a phenomenal director who's gonna audition me for a film and turn me down. <laughs> I think there's someone else who's gonna achieve untold heights of success and set Brooks on a new path with their contributions to the school. I think there's a teacher here I think there's an administrator here, but regardless, whether you come back or you stay away, you are this school. Now, I'll advise you, look, I stayed away, but I don't think any of you sat around in the last couple of years and said, yeah, this place is much better. Chris Wood made that statement. No, that didn't happen. You guys are going to be different because you've lived in different times. Trust me, none of us in Hollywood were writing any scripts about what you have gone through over the last six years. And that, plus this school, makes your experience even the more important. And everything you contribute going into the future until you are old, older than I am now. <laughs> it cannot be imitated by someone else. It is yours and it is vital to Brooks and you will give it. I don't know when, maybe it's someone who stops you on Running Canyon and points to you because they're wearing a Brooks sweatshirt just like you. But I can say this as someone who doubted it. Without question, you are Brooks School. Do not wait as long as I did to just accept that as true. And I, I really think I should get that part if you are the director. <laughs> I really got the whole affable thing down. I want to thank you so much for letting me come back. I want to thank you so much for enabling me to realize how integral my experience was. And for those of you, and these are the ones I can speak to probably the easiest, who say, mm, I don't know. I don't know what my experience was like here. Maybe I question it, maybe I don't even like it. That makes it all the more important. And you are that much more a part of forever this school. 
and I hope you take full advantage of that. Thanks so much, guys. I'm really proud of you.